Let's do it. So outside of the skills, it is it is just pure skills. Ironically. And then slipstreaming. <laughs> um pretty much. So it's just who can do like a little bit better. Oh got it, got it, nice. So yeah, don't bother watching me. Go watch the VODs of Get On or Reaper or um, someone like that on Twitch, because they did a contest, um, nice, they did a contest, um, oh, come on, yes, uh, where it was like, you know, no slipstreaming, no shortcuts kind of thing, who can get the highest score, and if it's all vehicle force, it's an, it's an even playing field. First go, all perfects. It's been a long time since we've managed that, so I'm... I'm glad about that. Not a 157 though. Only a pro has bested us. So that's fine. Like, let's fly upside down. It'll be a great time shortly. It's very close to the road. maxing out that 3.6 so you could get better but it's a little bit safer to stay at like 3.5 3.4 oh trees 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 okay here we go here we go oh we have 15 more seconds concentrate mega look out for trucks they were the bait they were the only thing that really screwed us up on the last run here we go here we go got it Much better. The other run was already great for some points, but that's great for like points overall. <laughs> so, compared to the others. Oh, sheesh! Actually beat them. Nice. The pro, pro will try harder for that, definitely, to get a little bit. <laughs> that few more points. <laughs> One seventeenth. So, yeah. On this major, big, exclusive item that you'll never be able to get otherwise. I don't know if that's the case. I know they have like pre-order cars in 4 and you're still able to get pre-order cars somehow. Um, even if you hadn't pre-ordered, but I don't know if that's the same in 5. I suppose there would be some cars like that, right? Chill around here because we missed this. Alright. There we go. Better. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't miss any checkpoints, so that's good. And we got through without hitting traffic, so that's also good. Um, mute phone. Yeah, so it could, could be I'll mute and just be faster. There we go, we evened out our last skills. We're at the bottom instead of the top for this one. Peoples are just faster than us, so maybe they have better tunes. Maybe they're just better. Could be the way. At least it's not like a once a month you must field camp kind of thing. It's just like, got it out of the way. It is not a thing to pain me anymore. Alright, use far too much NOS at the start, but that way at least you get some speed up. Wait for it to rebuild because you don't have any nitro kits, because you're just using a lone vehicle. Ooh. Don't hit tree. Lose a lot of speed going off like that. But it's fine. Blast it! Up to about there, I guess. Wait for after jump? Yeah, wait for after jump. Full nos, go! For a little bit. Yeah, this seems good. Seems like a good way of doing it. And then uh, a little bit before the jump, because it'll fill up. Then we can get out of here. Ooh, watch out for that rock. Blast it again. And now we just... yeah. Yeah, this is definitely less hectic without having like a max jet, jet sprint, isn't it? Back in the old days at the start of Crew 2. That's gonna be all of these races. We're gonna be using stock vehicles. 
whether it's hypercar, jet sprint, whatever. Currently working on the off-road and drag racing modes for car. Ooh, very nice. Okay, cool. That's exciting. Because I guess off-road especially will have different physics, but yeah, I've noticed like with, with different racing games, they'll have very different physics for their drag cars um, or their drag modes. Probably because you have such insane acceleration that it's just like, you know. Um, must make a special instance for this mode because otherwise everything goes bad outside of it. There we go, eight seconds better by not hitting tree, by nitro managing a bit better. And by probably racing a little bit better too. Still off of these guys. First person Ferrari. And now they're gone. The slowest car in the game. Sorry Ari. All the vehicles are forced. We can't. We can't choose a Hummer, or we can't choose a uh, Volkswagen van. I think a Beetle's also down there. Can't do it. We do have the slowest Ferrari F12 TDR possible, though. So we got that part, just not the in the game part. That's a bit of a corner. Oh, did just break in enough for that one. Double, double tap in the break through that corner. <laughs> Being like, oh, it'll be fine. Nope, nope, nope. Need to break a little bit more. Also, by the way, what are people's thoughts about if I... Sorry, Moosey dude. Um, what if I change my streaming from... I think it's like 576 at the moment. If I change it from that and 30 frames to like 480 and 60 frames. Would you guys prefer the 60 frames and slightly lower res? Um, so that, you know, everything is smooth as we go past all the trees and stuff. Um... And you know, everything is good because my webcam can do 60 frames as well, so I can change that, no problem. Um, it's just a case of I would go down to 480 so that uh, you wouldn't get any increased buffering from just trying to double your your data sent out uh, if you don't if you keep the same resolution. Is it worth? Because I mean, if if anyone's already watching like full screen, five seventy six is is not ten eighty. So it's probably not looking the smoothest and the and this and the nicest it could look. But this is what we do when we don't have the best internet. <laughs> we make it work, and it's fine. 480 and 576 don't have much differences. Do it for smoother stream. Okay. Does that also mean it doesn't have that much of a difference in terms of like bit rate then? Because if that's the case, it may just end up having a bit more buffering for people. We'll see. I'll experiment with it for sure after the stream. Um, but yeah, it's just an idea I had since, you know, I have been playing 30 frames most of the time I've been streaming, um, but now that I have little Nucky, I have the potential to go up to 60 frames, and it's nice playing games at 60, <laughs> especially racing games. It's just like, oh, it's a bit less jaggedy where everything goes past you. It also feels a bit slower too. Um, but you get used to that pretty quick. I think this was the corner I screwed up on before. No, not that corner. That was too easy. 
Where was the corner that I fell off the road on? It was in there somewhere. They didn't cut it out of the race or anything. One fifteen, much better. Yay! Still lower down than most people, but yeah. There we go. Improved, improved. Be reasonably fast. What are we up against? An MX5 or a Spider? MX5, RX7, all the JDMs, and then, yeah, an Acura, and then R35 to lead. And then there's us that's like, hey, it's a JDM week, everyone, and we're just like, I must use the best car, I must use meta. It is my only way of knowing that I can do decent in races. Look at us go, outpowering everybody. Vroom vrooming, as Vera says. I'll stay quiet for a little bit so you guys don't hear too much tractor going past. Well, even though it is cloudy and humid and late in the day, some dude's like, I'm gonna drive my tractor down the road. And because it's a tractor, it takes a while. Oh, I need to make an adjustment. I apologize. Um, I did not have the YouTube safe thingy on. So, there's a chance when I upload to YouTube, it'll be like, portions of this clip, uh, portions of this video have been muted due to copyright claims. Or, I think... I think one of the other options is that the artist can get like money and it can run ads. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how, how well YouTube knows that those tracks may or may not have been safe. But yeah, we're going for a very slow vroom vrooms, Vero. Um, we're doing a whole lot of vehicle force this summit. Um, so that basically means that no car is upgraded, everyone's on equal footing. Um, and you don't have any, like, extra nitro boosts, no part upgrade, uh, differences between people. And the game just feels a lot slower. Like, if you were just coming into, um, into Crew 2, this summit would be the best summit to get into because you get all the rewards. Um, but you don't have to go, okay, I need like super, super fast cars to do anywhere near decent on the summit. It's literally down to skill plus having the right parts for the skilled events because they don't vehicle force those. So, yeah, like at least... Um, <laughs> At least, you know, you've still got to get your, your max skilled sets on your hyper or your rally car, your, and then your plane. They don't do a boat one, so yeah, you don't need too many skilled parts this week, at least. <laughs> just might be, just might be hanging out, might be chilling without saying much. Who knows? Who is to say? Vera may type something and then be like, you know what? I need to go for a good walk. I'm gonna go stretch. I'm gonna go AFK. <laughs> Completely miss what's happened. That's totally possible with like anyone at any point in time. And you're just like, well, I'll just play games and hang out. He's fine. Mm. Um, I've been working in graveyard, so I'm like zombie tired. And this is supposed to be my last week of work, but um. The boss guy wants me to work another week. <laughs> and I'm like... Mm, mm, not sure about that. We will we will see. Maybe. It's a solid maybe right now. But no, I'm sitting up good. Uh, the monitor I've got at the moment is like a little bit too low. So it's tilted up a tiny bit. And then I have to look a bit down to it. But it's, it's not bad, like, you don't notice 
fatigue or anything over time. Um, so it could be worse. I'm Mega, a New Zealander with just about enough internet to stream XD. Most of <laughs> the crew to enforce our horizon for atmospheres, but I do love some strategy and adventure games as well. Oh, and also some Nintendo Switch games occasionally. D. D. Yeah, that, that, that'll have to get changed, right? Don't really play Crew too much anymore. Forza Horizon 5's coming out. And, um... When was the last time we streamed a Switch game? When was the... Oh, I, I opened the Switch yesterday, actually. Because I happened upon an article, um, which I don't usually do, um, where there was, like, an exclusive Charizard. Um, if you redeem a code. So I'm like, I'm going to turn on Pokemon real quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redeem this code. And then I'm going to turn the switch off again. And I'm going to, you know, go chill and watch anime before I go to sleep. <laughs> Pretty much. It was it was a great time. Such nostalgia of the switch already from those, from those man minutes, obviously. Um, but yeah, I haven't played switch in ages. You already have FH5 installed, just waiting for a release. Very nice. Did you get it on Microsoft Store or through Steam Bearer? Because it looks like depending on where you are in the in the world, um, they have different release times. Uh, like through the Microsoft Store, I could play it in a couple hours, but if I got it through Steam, I'd have to wait for Steam to release it, kind of thing. So, you know. Steam will be later for me because I'm so early in the time zones. Um, but, you know, if you were, say, America, Canada, I believe you get it earlier because Steam, Steam launches before Windows would launch in that region. I don't know. Tomorrow at 10 p.m. for you? Sweet. <laughs> so hopefully it's not, like, too late where you're like I could play but then I'm gonna be too excited and I'm not gonna sleep and I don't know because I mean I'm up till like 3 4 or 5 a.m. Uh, with graveyards um, on my off days it's like 5 a.m. on my work days by the time I get home and everything so it's like technically I could play it for a couple hours if I really, really, really wanted to, but I think it's best to leave it for like a brand new day to <laughs> to play a new game. Personally, you get home around nine nine thirty, so it works perfectly. Awesome. So you get a chill, you get to get comfy, and you know, refreshed, fed, and then you're like, all right, new game, let's go, Forza. Legendary bundle achieved. That's two legendary bundles. Yep, so we're only lacking in that first vehicle force. These ones are decent scores. We've made it worse in 60 than in 30 frames. Is there a reason for that? Um. Like, I suppose when you're going through the off-road, it's a lot more obvious where everything is because um, it's a lot sharper of an animation. It's not as smooth and free-flowing. Um, is that is that the only reason? Is that the reason? We whack the wall, so... Let's hope this isn't a dead run. We could also try doing the don't drift technique. And that may save us some time as well. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, for like 20 minutes, 
Would feel a bit weird. It's just like, alright, different game. Tiny small bit of time. Okay, done. <laughs> I'm starving now. I'm past hungry. I'm gonna go. And I know I could have an early lunch slash dinner, but it, I don't like the idea of eating before 6 p.m. unless it's like really weird timing in life or you know, I've got something to do around like 6 or 7. I don't think this time is going to be too different somehow than our first run or was it our second run that was the time setter? I don't know. Save the NOS. So still not quite on that 207 mark that some others have. <laughs> yeah, now the 211. 210.9. Just an improvement. Oh well. Keep it like that. <laughs> it's fine. 483 points! Yeah! Big improvement! <laughs> cool. We have the 1 1. Very insanely good braking car. Except, will we need to brake? Probably not much. Especially if we want to keep up with this Alpha. <laughs> He's got that off the line acceleration on us. Still able to hit 400 without a max out hyper. Oh, there we go. There's some lost time. Um. Oh, no. Oh, that was bad. That was very bad, wasn't it? Yeah, so across Alpha, I was expecting it to be. Um, I was expecting it to be a track, because that's what most hypercar races, or what most alpha races are, but no, we're doing a stage. Something that could quite easily be a hypercar race anyway. I think, no, it's not, it's not a new race, I must have done it at least one time because they've released all the motorpass races. It feels very new though. And I'm working like every wall, so... Definitely won't be the greatest of runs. Definitely not. Uh, on the edge of 400. So we can change to 7. Oh gosh, and then lose it all on that corner. Another hard corner, so maybe we should all get half of that NOS that we just used. I mean, even though this would benefit from Slipstream, the fact that I'm hitting so much, it kind of means that, um, first of all, improve your cornering, after that, then get Slipstream. Or if you are going to be Slipstreaming with people, you gotta, um, you gotta still be careful on the, on the corners, because there's a lot of corners for an Alpha GP race. Although in some ways this is the reverse of the air delivery uh, race, I believe. We are supposed to be in an air race vehicle, but you're in an Alpha TV. 
Yeah, one one time trial. Um, stock one one too, so no parts um, or none of that. It's pretty good, except for like the first corner that I properly braked for. Um, it was breaking all good, and then you let off the brake, and it all of a sudden is like, let's drift into the wall, and I'm like, no. So, a um. If anyone likes to see an immaculate looking uh, Koenigsegg 1-1 and hates the hates the idea of it getting whacked into things, <laughs> you'd, you'd probably already be left uh, by now, but I apologize. I like this car as well. It's not like I'm doing this on purpose. I'm just not necessarily great right now. You hate how all the cars are stuck, do you, Twitch? Why is that? Because they're so slow? It makes it an even playing field. A pure race of skill and nothing else. The ultimate in, in a racing game, definitely. Although if we're doing a pure, pure test of skill, I should be in bumper view every, or hood view every single vehicle, honestly. But I'm not. It does. It does drag out all the races, though. Like they're definitely not as enjoyable. But it does remind you of what it's like when you first get your vehicles, and you don't have any parts at all. So it's it's a good nostalgia reminder, if, if nostalgia is even the right word. Oh gosh, how long is this last ten percent? I've been like using all my NOS, being like, all right, that'll be the finish. That'll be the finish. This is the finish here. Under the bridge of some sort. Not the San Fran bridge, but some other bridge. Golden smoke unlocked. Bad. Oh, decent score. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, I'll call that a summit done. Everything could be improved, but only slightly. The low altitude I would leave as is the slalom. Yeah, it could be improved as well, but yeah, still only slight. Everything only slight. I'm pretty happy with this score. Just hit the 1.3 mil. Um, if you add in slipstream, definitely can get improved. Definitely. <laughs>